Mythical creature number one, Leprechaun. Leprechaun. A leprechaun is a small supernatural being who has a hidden pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It wears a green coat and hat. Culture point. Leprechauns are associated with St. Patrick's Day, a public holiday of Ireland. It is not a public holiday in the US, but on this day you will see parades and people dressed up as leprechauns in big cities. You'll also see bars decorated with special green signs and decorations welcoming beer drinkers. Lots of people go drinking, wearing green shirts and hats. In the US at least, this day is thought to be a fun day for drinking. In the US, there's a tradition of wearing green when you go to work or school on St. Patrick's Day. If you don't wear green, you get pinched. Mythical creature number two, gnome. Gnome. Gnomes are small beings usually described as bearded old men in folklore. They are believed to live underground and act as guardians of the Earth's treasures. Culture point. It's good to remember these creatures because you will see them quite often in the US as garden and home decorations. Mythical creature number three, Pegasus. Pegasus. Pegasus is a winged divine horse and is one of the most recognized creatures in Greek mythology. Pegasus is flapping its wings like crazy. It's gonna blow us away. Mythical creature number four, Phoenix. Phoenix. A phoenix is a legendary bird which lives a long life, burns itself to ashes, and rises from the ashes to live a new life. Hmm, are big flapping wings the thing now? The thing. The item that is the most fashionable or popular, or the way of behaving or talking that is popular and proper. High-waisted jeans are the thing to wear this season. It's the thing this year to buy environment-friendly products. Mythical creature number five, ghoul. A ghoul is a demon-like monstrous creature that robs graves and feeds on corpses. Mythical creature number six, Centaur. A centaur is a half-man, half-horse creature from Greek mythology. Let's describe his body in English. He is a human from the waist up. And a horse from the waist down. Mythical creature number seven, Leviathan. Leviathan. Leviathan is a biblical sea monster of formidable size. Advanced vocabulary. A leviathan also refers to something which is extremely large and difficult to control. Example. The automobile leviathan Ford monopolized the world's car market in the early 20th century. Mythical creature number eight, Cyclops. Cyclops. A Cyclops is a giant with only one eye in the middle of his forehead. You most likely have heard the story where Odysseus, the legendary hero in Greek mythology, sails to the island of Cyclops. Odysseus. Odysseus. Mythical creature number nine. Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is a large marine creature believed to inhabit Loch Ness, Scotland. There are lots of pictures of it, with the most famous one being this, but they have all been discredited.
Mythical creature number 10. Sphinx. Sphinx. A sphinx is an animal in ancient Greek and Egyptian myths that has a human head and a lion's body. Let's practice what we learned earlier. He's a human from the neck up. And he's a lion from the neck down. He's famous for the riddle that goes, what creature walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? 